Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas and today we are taking a look at an asset in the Unity Asset Store simply called Goblin01. Now this asset in itself is actually really really nice. I kind of like assets like this that just, it's fantasy style, do you know what I mean? Like something you'd see in some cool RPG and you know, look at him, he looks really mean. So quality wise, it's actually really really well made. I love the stylized look of it and I just can't get enough of how awesome it looks. And when it comes down to it, it's always down to making these assets your own. And I always like to play around and do different things. So for example, if we took the material and just changed it to an albedo alpha and changed the smoothness, you can see just how awesome he could look. You know, like shiny goblin there, like he's dripping wet or he's slimy or goopy. Something, you know, anything change his normal map and uh, reduce the smoothness once again and you can change just how he looks so quality of this is really 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 good customizability absolutely fantastic and as i always say add a bit of post processing and see what you can come up with it looks pretty awesome like that uh, so if i press play and uh, we can actually see this goblin in motion and look at him he looks awesome the animations are so smooth, so nice, they look really good. So quantity here is, well, it's exactly as you would expect. You get uh, the goblin, you get a couple of animations, you know, you've got attack, die, idle and move. And that I think that's good enough because if you're making a simple game, these uh, animations are probably going to be just enough. Uh, if you want to make more, I guess you could. So the folders are all neatly laid out, you know, we've got the materials, the mesh, we've got the prefab, the scene, always love the demo scene, and the texture. So maybe play around with the texture if you want to customise it a little bit more. So it is versatile in that sense, um, you know, play around with it a little bit more if you want to and see what you can come up with. So how useful is this asset? What kind of game would it fit into? Well, it's not particularly going to fit in well with some games, really. But for a fantasy RPG or something along those lines, or some goblin game, you know, something on mobile, like a casual game there, this would fit in really, really well. Obviously, it's very fantasy based. So having it in, you know, a realistic first person shooter, that's probably not quite going to fit in. But I think most people through their development lifetime will find a use for this guy because I think everyone maybe develops some kind of fantasy game at some point as they're learning the ropes. Um, so let's have a look at the price. You probably saw it before. It's free. I love this kind of asset that's free because you get a lot for your money. Obviously your money being absolutely nothing and you get this awesome asset. Now, I will point out that assets do change price from time to time. So if you come across this uh, review and the price has changed, it, um, to be honest, it's probably worth a couple of dollars. I actually really, really like how this asset looks. File size is 5 meg, which again is a really good file size for what we get here. So if you're designing for mobile games or something along those lines, that's going to be just fine. It'll fit in just nicely. It won't inflate your size too much. So, as you guys know, I don't rate assets, I either recommend them or I don't. And although I've banged on about this asset quite a lot and I have a lot of admiration for it, I wouldn't recommend it to everybody. Now, I did say earlier that people, you know, design fantasy games at some point throughout their development life, and this is going to be perfect for them. Uh, I think it's a brilliant asset and I probably would use it in one of my personal projects. I've got something going on on the side at the moment, so just a, a little personal uh, side game that I'm creating, and I'm probably actually going to use this guy. It's really, really good. Um, so if you are creating some kind of fantasy style game, yeah, I'd absolutely recommend this asset. Um, if you're past that point, then obviously there's no interest for you here. There's nothing more to this asset than just this goblin. So if you've absolutely no need for a goblin at any point after now, then yeah, there's nothing extra here for you to take from this. But if you're a beginner to Unity and you want to experiment with a little bit of enemy AI or something like that, then yeah, I'd absolutely recommend this goblin. This is a fantastic asset for so many different people, especially beginners, I think. Uh, but yeah, I would probably recommend it. I'd at least have a look at it. It's really well made and it looks really, really good. And in all honesty, the thumbnail for this probably won't do this character justice because I've already done the thumbnail and it doesn't quite look as good as this guy does on screen right now. So yeah, there is 
more that you can do to it to customize it yourself. And yeah, just enjoy this for what it is. So guys, if you've used this asset, uh, let me know what you think of it in the comments. And if you like it, give a thumbs up. If you don't, give the video a thumbs down. But let me know why you didn't like this particular asset. If you've got something on the asset store, let me know. I'd love to check it out and review it in one of these videos. Finally, don't forget, click the subscribe button, click on the bell icon as well, and you can stay up to date with everything I upload on video game development to my channel. And hopefully I will see you around in another video. See you later, guys.